Hi, before we start uh, today's teardown, a little bit of an update. So in one of the last videos I said I was running out of stuff to teardown, but luckily with eBay I was able to find a few more things. And I have uh, these things arrived today and I have, I have a few more on the way. So there will now be shortage of stuff to tear down for the next few weeks, I hope. Uh, this was an avionics lot from uh, eBay UK and I paid uh, 40 British pounds for this uh, four device, which is not uh, too bad, I guess, because this one is actually expensive. And we will start with this one today. So we have here uh, Gables ATC control head. It means uh, probably air traffic control. So for talking with uh, control towers in uh, airfields. So it is still a current piece that is still in use. It is not obsolete. And actually it can be quite expensive when uh, in working condition. But this one was sold for parts. So we have some kind of display. It is not really clear what it is. I cannot see anything from the through the dial for now. So through the window, so it will be a surprise. We have frequency selection buttons, on off post buttons, and some functions here. Some by, by reply, I don't on test. So I believe you will set your uh, radio frequency here for talking to the control tower. So it is made by Gables. And uh, do we have a date somewhere? Yes, here we have a stamp of uh, January 2000. So the interesting thing with this device is you have no manufacturer plate. The informations are engraved here at the back. So Gables Engineering Incorporated in Coral Gables, Florida, USA. Part number, serial number here is 2010 and it weighs 1.5 libs. Multi pin connector here. And as you can see, yes, I did not open it yet. The factory or repair shop seal is still in place. So I have no clue of what we will find in this thing. It seems it is just four screws. So it will be surprise here. I remove this sticker. And yes, now it is void. As you can see, the warranty is void. Maybe I could have removed it cleanly with eating it, but as it is an old one, I am not sure anyway, and it will should take time for maybe no result. So let's do it like this. Okay, the eight screws are off, and here we go. Ah, oh, it seems to be nicer than expected quite uh, full of electronics in fact. Here is the other side. Uh, and actually it seems very complicated to take apart further. As you can see, we have here the controls. A stack of uh, five circuit boards here, which seem to be stacked from this side. 
we have the display here, a lot of uh, pins on the display, but it does not tell which kind of display it is. And I am not sure how to remove it. Oh, actually, actually, it looks like it is a matter of undoing here the buttons and it should come off and as you can see very uh, impressive stack of circuit boards which are bolted together uh, maybe it will be quite uh, time consuming to undo them all but maybe at least uh, and two more circuit boards here at the back for the connector board to board here and connector uh, here also on the main connector here power supply it seems so maybe what I can do is at least undo the three screws here at the top And try to lift yes it is coming right off as you can see this must be a power supply converter and here we have first of the PCBs uh, seems to be yes mostly analog parts on this one LM324 and E556 LM331 and so on. I see uh, chips. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to proceed. There is, it seems, flat, fl uh, yes, a flex rigid PCB, this one. So I will try to dig a little bit further in it and I will be right back. Okay, so thanks to my set of Bristol uh, spline keys, I was able to undo the buttons. And the front plate is just coming off like this. I am missing here a little piece. So just a clear light diffuser with black paint on it. Here is what it looks like in the front. We have what seems to be the backlight, obviously. Yes, like so. It is a thin PCB with little bulbs. And we have the displays which are some kind of uh, seven segment displays not sure if they are LED no, they must be some kind of uh, vacuum uh, fluorescent display interesting, I see uh, metal parts like uh, but they are not uh, LED dies because there is no bonding wire to them so specific kind of display obviously and now I am able to, uh, after undoing few screws, pull this back piece with connectors to the bones and I should be able to lift, in fact, the boards here very gently and reveal what we have between them. Okay, so first one is off. Here is the rear side. This one we do not see a lot because of the flat flex over it. So it looks like I have a wire here that will come off. Very weird kind of connector here. Then if I lift here again 
Yes, it is coming off. I try to be gentle, not to damage anything. Sorry if you hear noise outside. There are some dogs which are very noisy. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, uh, in fact, we have here the two displays. Maybe I can pull on them, and the cool come off, but. I do not want to break anything, so... Oh, I see, I see. Two little screws to undo. Uh, just uh, one second. If I find a matching small screwdriver... What it looks like, it will allow to remove completely the display module. It should be nice. Yes. It may come off if I can remove the screw uh, Let me try something. First one is off. Second one. So maybe okay. And now, what to do next? Uh, yes, we must have some sockets somewhere to remove the displays. In fact, they are prisoner between the two things, but I do not know where it is located. So, or maybe maybe it is glued in some way. So I will not uh, try it further. Uh, we have here UNC 5822A. I see some capacitors, some transistors. Okay. Uh, next board must be V. Some kind of processing board. Intel microcontroller or EPROM, something like this. D8749 with, uh, yes, there is a window, so it must be a UV erasable microcontroller. And uh, the next layer, this thing is quite uh, incredibly complicated, in fact, not, no. No wonder it is expensive when uh, in working condition. So next PCB. Board wires I can see. A lot of board to board connectors. And in fact the last PCB has just two clips. So it will not be interesting to remove it. But as you can see Quite, uh, oh no, it is coming off. Mm, interesting. Oh. It looks like they did cover some unused digits on the displays here with black tape. No, it is a getter for the vacuum on the, in the thing, in fact. Very, very uh, interesting construction. As you can see, very compact construction also. I did not tie, there was missing two screws apparently at the back. I will try to find uh, replacement ones in my stock. And uh, for now, I am left with this thing to put back together. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.